well I'm back with another tutorial today is going to be a tutorial on this look right here I actually tried to film this like yesterday and it did not come out like I wanted it to I was going for more like a rose gold champagne type of summer look um, I feel like this can be worn like at night as well as during the day so I feel like it's pretty universal I've been like obsessed like with these um, salon perfect 614 lashes like no other I don't really have much to say um, except if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching okay first I'm gonna take the Mario Badescu rose water facial spray and just spray it all over my face for extra hydration and then going in with the NYX Angel Veil face primer I'm just going to be priming my face Then going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, I'm just going to be applying stripes all over my face and then taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to be blending this out. Now taking the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer, I'm just going to be placing this under my eye area and this is pretty close to my skin tone color because I'm using this more so to um, conceal any blemishes and redness and whatnot. And then I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer which is a couple of shades lighter to pretty much highlight the face and then going in with the Beauty Blender I'm just going to be blending this out. Now going in with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye um, Loose Setting Powder, I think this is called. I'm just taking out uh, that same beauty blender and I'm just dipping it in the product and then placing it wherever I pretty much place the concealer just to set everything in place. Then to prime my eyes, I'm going in with Max Painterly Paint Pot and with a concealer brush, I'm just going to be applying this to my lids. And then to set it, I'm going to be taking Max Emphasize 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 powder there we go get it together Lisa then going in with this Jordana cream eyeshadow I'm just going to be placing this on my lid and blending it out with my finger I discovered these not too long ago and they're amazing next going in with max yogurt eyeshadow I'm just going to be placing this inside the crease a little bit above the crease with a fluffy brush fluffy brush and then going in with max soft brown I'm just going to be applying this with that same brush right underneath and then blending it out. Next, going in with this MAC eyeshadow, I forgot the name of it, but I'll be listing everything below. And a 217 brush, I'm just going to be placing this right on the outer V of the eye almost, but almost like just focusing it more on the crease. And this is just going to give added depth. Next, I'm taking this L'Oreal shadow in Amber Rush and a flat shader brush and I'm just going to be placing this directly on the lid. Next, going into the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette, I'm going to be taking those two almost like a burnt maroon wine berry color I want to say and that same 217 brush I'm just going to be deepening that outer V and blending it out. Now going in with some concealer I'm just going to be cleaning up that um, brow area and this is a way also of highlighting. Um, I like doing this and then placing a lighter eyeshadow on top, which I'm going to be doing right now. Forgot the name again. I think this eyeshadow is called Carefree by MAC, but I believe it's discontinued. And I'm just using this just to highlight that brow bone and blend. Next, going in with Nylon by MAC, I'm going to be placing this with a pencil brush right in the inner corner of my eye and then blending it out with my finger just a little bit and then also giving my brow bone a slight highlight and then going in with my Anastasia brow is pencil I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows <laughs> Don't you 
And then going in with a little bit of concealer, I'm just going to be tracing this around my eyebrow and this just pretty much helps clean them up and make them look a little bit neater. Eyebrows on fleek. Now taking the NYC liquid liner, I have a video on this, I will be linking it down below. I'm just going to be creating a wing. Now going in with a little bit of translucent setting powder, I'm just going to be setting and baking my under eye area and then going in with my favorite lashes, the 614s, I'm going to be placing these on my eyes. <laughs> Now going in with a new liner, I'm just going to be placing this on my waterline and this is just going to help make my eyes appear a little bit bigger and brighter and yeah. Next going in with that same shadow from the Carly Bible palette and a shader brush, I'm just going to be placing that color right on the outer part of my lower lash line with a flat shader brush. and. Next, going in with the Rimmel Accelerator Mascara, I'm just going to be placing a light coat on my top and bottom lashes and this is just going to help mask uh, the real lashes from the fake ones and make them blend a little bit better. Next, going into the e.l.f. Contour Palette, I'm taking that deeper contour color and I'm just going to be contouring my cheeks, forehead, nose, jaw, the whole nine. Next, going in with the Physicians Formula Bronzer. This is my shit. I love it so much. I'm going to be just bronzing my cheeks a little bit and giving warmth to my face. Oh my god, my hair kept getting in my face. So fucking annoying. And taking a powder brush, I'm just going to be blending that out. Next, taking my all-time favorite highlight from ColourPop called Wisp in a beauty blender. I'm going to be placing this on the highest points of my cheeks to give a highlight. Next, going in with this Wet n Wild blush, I'm going to be placing a little bit on my cheeks just to get a flush of color. And then after that, I'm going to be placing the Anastasia highlights. I think I'm taking Crush Pearl and Starburst, I want to say. I forget the names, but a mixture of both and just placing that right on top of that wisp, wisp, wisp color and anywhere that I pretty much highlighted to give a highlight and then taking a damp beauty blender once again I sprayed it a little bit with fix plus to kind of go over the highlight and blend everything together and then tracing my lips with the Milani pencil it's like a really pretty mauve color and then going over that with the color pop liquid lipstick in that paper So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be recording a couple more looks this week, so keep a lookout for that. And until next time, I will see you guys later.